Sports. Welcome back to the show. Hill columnist Kristen Tate. It's good to see you. More rules for thee, but not for me. Democrat Congresswoman uh, Jayapal, she really went after Republicans for not wearing masks. She's called parting on camera maskless. She had slammed Republicans for not wearing masks. Listen, she was at a birthday party. We understand you're going to take your mask off to blow candles. But this, again, is after she really went after Republicans saying, listen, you guys are wrong to not wear masks. What do you say? It's just pure hypocrisy. I mean, the left's flagrant COVID hypocrisy has unmasked the Democrats' belief that the political aristocracy is superior to average American citizens. I mean, lawmakers put in place these draconian measures for all of us, but then they proceed to break their own rules over and over and over. It's infuriating, Liz, but it's really not that shocking because this kind of hypocrisy has just become the norm on the left. I mean, these Democrat officials, they want all children, many of whom are not at high risk of COVID to wear masks all day every day while they cheer on these huge mask list protests by left-wing groups like BLM. They want average Americans to be fired from their jobs for not getting the vaccine as they say nothing as thousands of unvaccinated migrants flood our southern border. They have caused thousands of small businesses to close down with their orders while they themselves enjoy guaranteed taxpayer funded checks. I mean it's just shameless opened hypocrisy and it's become the norm. You know, the San Francisco mayor, London Breed, she defended violating her own indoor mask mandate for the city saying, quote, I wasn't thinking about a mask. Let's watch this. We don't need the fun police to come in and try and micromanage and tell us what we should or shouldn't be doing. We know what we need to do to protect them ourselves. I got up and started dancing because I was feeling the spirit and I wasn't thinking about a mask. Wait a minute, isn't she the fun police <laughs> to green masks? You know what I mean? I, that, I couldn't figure that one out. Right, I mean, I actually agree with her, but the problem is that she doesn't hold everyone else to the same standard. So she wants everyone else to follow rules that she herself has no interest in following at all. But it, it's just become so obvious at this point that most of these measures are no longer about keeping people safe. I mean, the vaccines are free, they're highly effective, and you can get them almost anywhere. Uh, this is about power, it's about growing the size and scope of the state, and, and it's about fame, frankly. I mean, two years ago, nobody knew Anthony Fauci's name, no one knew Ro Rochelle Walensky's name. Now these people are household names and bureaucrats and politicians have power well, that they had dreamed of before. It's just a feeling of being bullied, right? And the condescending yeah. bullying, right? That they're authoritarian and they know better. That's what I think people find really obnoxious. Your final word. You're exactly right. And here's the bottom line. They are not acting like they are scared of COVID. So maybe we shouldn't act like we're scared of COVID either. And the only way we are going to move past this pandemic is to just ignore them at this point. I urge okay. people to get vaccinated, take precautions, but we can't let these draconian measures control our lives. Kristen Tate, good to see you. You're a great writer too. Got to read her columns and Thank books. You. Uh,